Hello again, everyone. Back here with Johnny Aspra. Johnny, how's it going? Good. I haven't changed my shirt in the yeah, last several, <laughs> several episodes. <laughs> yeah, so. me either. It's a good thing we talked about clothes last time. because Hopefully everybody <laughs> will cut us some slack yeah. on we haven't changed shirts in a while. <laughs> I took a so. page out of your closet, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Johnny, you know, when we, we first started this and we started brainstorming about this and you came to me and said, you know, I want to I share my story about ALS and hopefully educate people and, and and perhaps inspire others too yeah and one of the things you mentioned to me was this concept of you know living with dignity and yeah. it, that really stuck to me because it's it, it's such a, a, a simple but powerful statement I, you know in my in my world oftentimes i'll see so many people who haven't been faced with als but they're letting so much of life pass them by because they're not putting a sense of dignity into how they live yeah. You know, so what is what is living with dignity no, to you? I, I, I understand. And it's a it's a great it's a great question. And um, any of us and we're everyone in every walk of life, we're we're faced with dilemmas, obstacles to overcome, whether it's a a, a lost family member, or a lost relationship, whether it's an illness, whether it's a a career change, is approaching it in a problem solving manner. And I had a choice. It came to me real quick. I could either cry myself to sleep and bury myself in the bottom of a dry bottle and go out that way, or I could take the most of what I had and live with it. And I called it living with dignity, with honor and dignity. And for me, that's huge important, living with honor and dignity. Um, and we'll talk more about that in, in, the, coming, in the coming days. A quick story that comes to mind is that a, a dear friend of mine here in Santa Barbara, um, he's a stockbroker, very successful, handsome guy. He told a story over the holidays, this past holidays, uh, and he said, John, I want to tell you about a guy that I went to uh, business school with, very bright, upcoming uh, guy, and he was diagnosed with ALS, and he died within a year. And my friend, as he's telling the story about his buddy that died with ALS within a year, like nine months, he died pissed off. He died wow. angry. He died, he died unhappily. Wow. And for me, remaining happy and remaining, remaining in the world with dignity and honor go hand in hand. I, I, I have a choice here. The time that's remaining, I can spread the gospel and spread the love that's come my way. I can give it back and hopefully somebody's out there that can see this and maybe just get a little inkling, just a spoonful of, hey, it's, it, it might not be all right, but you can hold yourself with decorum and with honor and with dignity and you can, you can problem solve your way through this dilemma. And that's what I, that's really kind of really what I want to say in a nutshell is is hold yourself with decorum. That's that's awesome, man. That's in, extremely inspiring, very poignant, very powerful. It's not easy. No, it's not right. easy. It's not. it's not easy. You know, I I, I have uh, every morning when I wake up, I have my little pity party. I cuss. I go make a cup of coffee. And, try to use the bathroom with dignity <laughs> and that's the truth and then once the once that episode of my morning is over it's time we got to put our boots on and get going here man we there's there's no time there's no time and and that's really what i'm faced every day and it's it sounds corny it sounds blase but uh, i i pull my fat ass out of bed every day thinking let's get going Let's let's get going, and you, know, you got to pull yourself up by the bootstraps, so to speak, and and get up and going. Or, yeah, feel sorry for yourself. You got to go through the process, but you don't want to dwell on it. You you got to get going. Yeah, hey man, that's awesome. Very powerful stuff. I hope it works. I hope I hope it works for somebody out there. There's a lot of love coming my way. I hope you gather a little bit of love coming back your way. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and that uh, living with dignity, that's not just for people who are, who are faced with ALS. That's for, I think, any, for anybody. any man, woman, child. Yeah. You know, imagine that if you could take something away from today is how can you live with dignity? Yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks buddy. for the opportunity. That was awesome. Okay.